weeks of training for an under two hour half marathon at the age of 50 and it's not going to happen you guys because I fell and it's just not gonna happen at least not at April Fools in this week's video though I have two unboxings for you pretty cool okay let's do this welcome to I run things guys good morning I'm feeling a little bit better it's still uncomfortable so I would not say I would not call it pain pain it's more just generally being uncomfortable so I'm gonna start moving a little bit because the doctor said to you know once the pain subsided a little bit to try and get mobile so I'm not gonna exercise, that would be crazy, but I am actually, I ran the dishwasher, I'm gonna empty the dishwasher, put the dirty dishes in the sink, clean up a little bit, fold some clothes, um, and probably doing a lo load of laundry if I can. I don't know how I'm gonna be able to lift the dirty clothes. So my husband went to Walmart and to Lowe's because we needed mulch and other things for the yard. It's that time of the year. Gonna get steaks. Our best steaks around here are at Walmart. It's one of those things. We don't know why, but they have the best beef. So, yeah. And then after this, I'm gonna take a shower, a hot shower, because right around now is when I can apply heat to the injury. And if you don't know what I'm talking about, you can go watch this video up here and see what what all this means. So. Yes, and yeah, let's get going. Oh, and while I'm emptying the dishwasher, I'm watching Jen LaForge. She's one of my favorite travel YouTubers. I've been watching her forever, forever. I love Jen LaForge, so. Well, good morning, my beautiful people. I'm going to work. I'm feeling better. I actually did about 17 minutes this morning of light movement. I did 12 minutes of core. Very light. Don't you guys think that I started doing planks and stuff? Because no. I just did what felt good and didn't hurt. That's what I did. And then I did five minutes of arms with very light weights. So we'll see, we'll see how I feel later on today. And depending on that, maybe I can resume doing a little bit more stuff tomorrow. It's also raining. I would have gone to do like a, not a run, more like a, a walk, like a high intensity walk, but I didn't because it's raining. So I don't mind getting wet, but I didn't want to fall again. Now I'm going to be paranoid about this. Anyway, I'm going to work. Okay, I am in a good mood today because I'm feeling less pain in the butt. My pain is actually kind of right here, right now. It's not really pain, guys. It's more like dull, I don't know, achiness. So when I stay in the same position for a while, it hurts more. If I change positions, it hurts for like two seconds and then it stabilizes and it stops hurting. And then it hurts again if I'm in that same kind of position for a while. So I have to change positions every so often and then I feel better. But we're gonna do something. I don't know what though. I have to decide within the next five minutes. My Garmin is ch charging, so we're gonna give it five minutes. And in those five minutes, we're gonna decide what we're gonna do. Yeah. I don't know guys, I feel like I should do something because my body is used to moving and also because the doctor originally he even said even if I had had the, the fracture, he said that this is one of those things that you need to move. Um, you just rest for like three, four days and then start moving a little bit. So let's move, shall we? Yes, so I did some light exercise very light i did 20 minutes or maybe a little bit over just uh light movement trying to do some good mornings i can't bend all the way down because 
it hurts. So I didn't push it. Um, I just went as far as I could. And when I started feeling the pain, I stopped. And um, I did walk on the treadmill for 20 minutes or so with 7% incline. And um, that felt good. So I just don't think I can run. I think I'm still not able to run. It's very, very rainy. Like it's raining a bunch. So it's gonna rain tomorrow as well, which I might hop on the treadmill later on and do another walk. I did 300 feet of elevation. So I think I might try later on lunchtime, do something similar maybe. If I feel okay, I'm gonna take it little by little, you guys. And let's, I'm gonna log into work because it's time working from home today. I think something was delivered that's gonna make me super happy. Yes. Annie was actually barking. She's my doorbell. Hey, baby girl. Are you my doorbell? Are you my doorbell? Baby puppy, I love you. I love you. Yes, I do. Yes, I do. Did FedEx deliver something? Yes, it is. What I wanted. So, I received shoes from I am like oh my god oh, I'm getting the chills just thinking about it oh my god I'm gonna explain now what this means they're so pretty crap look at these so these are the Deviate Nitro 3. I am dying for this. Okay. And they've been sent to me by Puma. And I am so excited because it's the first time that I get to do a collab with, um, with one of the big brands. And I was dying to try the Deviate. Nitro. So I'm going to put them on. Well, thanks, Puma. Okay, my beautiful people. I have them on. These shoes are so pretty. Do you agree, Yanni? Are they pretty? She's not interested. Folks, awful day to try on my DV8 Nitro. I don't think this is ideal testing conditions, but they're creepy because it's pretty slippery. Okay, and it's ugly. It's been raining 48 hours. So first impressions with my Puma Deviate Nitro 2, they feel very grippy, you guys. Like they are able to let you run in very wet pavement without worrying about falling, which is fantastic, especially <laughs> in my current situation. And this run felt a little bit awkward. I am not gonna deny it. I felt very stiff. And I think it's obviously because I had fallen and I was still convalescent from the fall. So I think I wasn't as resilient as I thought I was gonna be. H catches up with you guys. this a little bit up there. It's nasty. Then we're probably done at last Cause I got somewhere to be And you're done deceiving me And 
to thinking I couldn't do better Yeah, I know I was probably crazy Thinking someday you'd change There's nothing left to do now So I'm playing the game And so, heartbreaker I've been working you out You made loads of mistakes But none that you talk about I'm watching every move you make And I'm on to you Come on, heartbreaker Give in and surrender to me Okay guys, I'm gonna show you. It wasn't here, but it was kind of here where I fell the other day. This type of situation. See, they've been working here. And this sand, which is almost like beach sand, this is where I actually slipped and fell on my tush. Yeah. Not on my tush, I should say on my upper tush. If it had been my tush, I had padding there, so I think it would have been a lot less painful. Okay, let's keep going. Okay, the wind is too much. So I'm gonna go back home. It's really something. <laughs> it's cold, rainy and windy. We're gonna do some strength training. You guys have asked to see strength training workouts and I have a plan to do those. I actually announced it on Patreon. So my Patreons know about this. It's just that I had to postpone everything because obviously I felt I got injured and they sidetracked me. But I have a plan for that. They're coming. Right now we're gonna do some core work and some glutes if I can. I'm not in pain this morning. The first time I'm waking up with no pain. So hopefully it stays that, that way. Do ooh, when I roll there, I hurt here. Yeah, it's a little tender, guys. Okay, we're gonna do basic crunches. We're doing the other leg. It's a little uncomfortable. Okay. Let's see if we can do some lower abs. Put our hands here. Okay. Do this with feet together. And doing this. It just hits a little different. Do the sides. I don't know what this is called. The voice from the inside, wake up here, yeah, they're starting to realize, realize, I'm starting to realize. Now we're gonna do, um, I guess these are the abductors. They work your glute medius, which is important when you're running. So let's go. And what I do is I do this. Okay, I think that hurts a little bit. 
I really don't want to overdo it. You're probably thinking I'm a little crazy doing all this. Okay, so that was 12 minutes. Okay, so we are going to test our shoes. Our, I mean, the Puma Deviate Nitro with a little bit of interval training. Short and sweet and to the point. We'll see how they perform. I really want to try them in a little bit of interval training. So, we'll see. I'm not on my prime, you guys, but <laughs> we're just gonna try and these trees are so beautiful. I get distracted. Let's do it. These first ones are 60s. Not sure, but it's a beautiful day, guys. It's not even chilly. It said it feels like 33, but I don't feel like 33. I feel warmer than that. Okay, oh my god, I have the right song for this. Okay. Okay, let's do it. That felt hard. And I did point 12. I usually do point 13. So, substantially slower. Let's see if now, it's not the shoes, it's me. <laughs> it's not you, it's me. Uh, okay. I'm rusty, guys. And I also, I feel pain when I go fast. So, we, ha we might have to abort like a military mission. Oh man, yes. Yeah. Okay. Let's see how this one goes. Another 12. I can go the distance. And I'll, yeah. Do 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 Oh Okay Another minute and then we do 30 seconds Okay That was 13 Point 13 and now we're talking Okay, now we have 30s 30 seconds Oh Six. Okay, now we have 20 second reps and I think we have five of those. So, okay, let's see what we can do. Point zero four. Oh. Three more. Morning. Done. We'll check what I did in a minute. Now let's run our six minutes. Cool down. Okay. Oof. Man, that was hard, guys. You have to fight so hard to get your VO2 max higher. And then in a week, it's all gone, pretty much. My threshold pace went down 15 seconds. I just lost 15 seconds of speed this week. 
That's pretty bad. Okay. Oh, I shoot. I declined by accident. Okay. Whatever. Okay. Okay. Let's look at training effect 3.3 aerobic, 2.8 anaerobic. Okay. Well, I'm going to work, but something happened because we're all stuck here. Must have happened just now. And I lucky. There's a bus school bus and a truck and I don't know if they collided or what I can't really see but. guys verdict with today I'm not gonna do any more strength training because I think I'm gonna suffer I'm not even gonna do core the rest of the week I am in a dull constant pain and I think it's from well the strength training you saw me do so so I'm not gonna do anything this Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Hopefully in three days. I think I'll run. I'll do easy runs Friday and Saturday. Cause God knows I need them. Man, it's awful. You fall or you you know it's you have an injury, it just sidetracks you forever. It takes so long to build up your VO2 max. At least for me. And then in a week, I've lost two points of VO2 max in a week. Can you believe that? Two points. Good morning, guys. Play music and the first song is from Gladiator. You know how much I love that soundtrack. Just so beautiful. Doing intervals, run, walk. So I'm gonna take it easy today. Just because yesterday I was a little beaten up from the intervals. And I did not do that very many. I mean, it was a total of 2.7 miles, I think. <laughs> so, yeah, there's that. But we're taking it easy today. Hopefully, I can survive April Fools on Sunday because I'm running it, guys. I'm just not gonna run it at speed. I'll just be at the back of the pack. Okay, beautiful morning. Beautiful, beautiful. Running this suck, this half is going to suck just a tiny little bit. <laughs> it is what it is. guys it's a beautiful morning I could have continued running forever definitely another hour for sure but I have to go to work and I have a large project in my hands that requires a lot of man hours women hours in this case because it's me 
and a colleague of mine who's also female it's gonna be like 40 hours of work just to finish it and I'm not even sure we'll be done in 40 hours we need to get out of our docket ASAP so okay I'll let you know how I did after this It's the end of the day, and I get a package. I need scissors to open it. Hold on a second. I am super excited. This is the, the video with opening packages. Okay. I know what it is, because I looked at the label, and I'm only expecting one thing from this company. Okay, protective bubbles, and here's the box. Okay, let me show you. Ta -da! It's the this is the most powerful Phoenix headlamp, and it's for when we run our trail run, our ultra trail run in February next year. 2025. I'm super excited. It's this is like super high quality. I told them the race that I was doing, and they actually said this would be the best because it has the most battery life and also the most light. And we're gonna be running through mountains and stuff like that. So, okay, why is this so hard to open? Okay, so those are the specs. I'll do a video, a review once, once I lose it. I'll put the, the link below in case you guys want to take a look at it. Okay, man. Oh, wow. Has instructions inside. There's a booklet right there. This is the extra battery. They said they were going to send me an extra battery. Cable to charge it. I don't know, this is another leaflet. And here's the actual. It's really nicely packaged, you guys. Look at this. Oh, what is this? What do you think it, this is, guys? Comment below. I don't know what it is. And it's pink. They actually had different colors. Oh man! Do I look pretty? <laughs> it's actually really nice. Wow, I think it needs to be charged. I don't think it has. So I'm gonna have to read the instructions. But you can put it, you can put it in your, I guess not. I was gonna be, maybe if you put it this way. Oh, it is this way, okay. Obviously, I've never owned one of this. I think you can do this. Yes, so you can actually put it so you can see the ground. It's pretty nice, huh? Me loves it. I love the color. So these are the lumens. It's 1600 lumens. 24 hour runtime mode for trail running. I am assuming it's not a max brightness. And then it has both white and warm white light sources. So you can use whichever one is better. It's on. And yes, it has one inside. I just managed. Wow, this is like incredibly light. Huh? It's super cool. So I have two. I can charge this one and carry this with me. Oh, look at that. This is just one. I can do the other one too. Oh, one of them is like that. Look at that. The other one is this. Can I do both? No. Oops. This is just crazy. So much light. Okay, how do I turn this off? No. Off. Okay. Hi, Annie. I'm going to play around with it. And I will do... I have to use it. Which I'm very excited to use it. 
and um, I can't use it this weekend, obviously. I don't think, unless I use it tomorrow, probably not. I don't think I'm gonna use it tomorrow. And then I'll do a review. I am super excited. This is really a high quality headlamp, you guys. So, thank you, Phoenix, for sending me this. I do appreciate you. Very nice. I'm so excited. These are my electrolytes of choice. I will have a link for you below with a discount coupon for you to use if you're gonna give them a try. I really like them. Okay guys, three easy miles with some strides at the end. That's what we're doing. Let's keep going. So bad news, when I was doing my strides at the end of this run, my back was hurting. So, I don't think I can push the speed at April Fool's half faster than 10 minute miles, and even that is probably going to be a stretch. So we shall see. The race is gonna come up in a different installment of this video series. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you come back for more. I'm not giving up. There will be other opportunities for me to go under two hours. If you wanna watch another video, you can do so, click it on your screen, subscribe on my face, and as always, I love you guys. Run fearless.